Okay, Amelia, thank you so much for coming along uh, this afternoon. It's, it's great to, to meet you and I have a few questions for you this afternoon. Um, what does it mean to you to have won the Hong Kong Young Writers Awards 2013 for poetry? Group three. Well, when I was shortlisted, it was, you know, it was a bit of a shock and I was really excited to be shortlisted and then, you know, we went to the, we went to the awards ceremony and when I got, where they announced my name for the winner, I was ecstatic, it was really exciting, yeah. mm, I'm really sure. happy. Quite an experience for you, I'm sure. And did you find participating in this competition improved your English and what else did you learn through the process? I think, yeah, it did improve my English and I found that uh, I learned a lot about poetry because I hadn't really written much poetry before that, but when I did participate in this, I discovered new techniques and new ways to develop my poetry, and I really enjoyed, like, I learned about how every word makes a difference in the poem. You have to be careful about what you say. I would change one word, and the whole poem would make, would be, like, an entire, an entirely different story. Okay, I understand. So it's about being careful and attention to detail, I yeah. suppose. Perfect. And has winning the poetry category motivated you to enter this year? And what are your plans for preparing and what, what lessons can you apply? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to apply this year. Um, I think I apply the same techniques as last year, but, but yeah, obviously with a different um, theme. And then I think I'm, I enjoyed last year writing about life, linking it to life, and I thought that was really uh, interesting way to motivate myself and to uh, get involved in the piece and it was, I could relate to it. Mm. So I think I might, I want to do something kind of true to myself, something I can relate to myself, use that kind of technique to okay. get into it, the poem. It's the winning formula that worked last year so why not use it again this year, so I understand that makes sense. And it's been six months since the awards ceremony, have you, have you written anything new in your spare time that you can share with us? What kind of things? Uh, I've written lots of poetry. I've got a book of poetry that I've uh, been writing in. Whenever I get a bit of inspiration, I'll write down the ideas. Um, I've got a few poems in that book as well. Fantastic. Um, what kind of things do they relate to? Um, well, I think a lot of them relate to life as well. Mm. Again, that, I find that's an mm. interesting topic for myself. And I could always, mm. that always works out for me. And it, yeah, great. Um, but. Mo I think, yeah, they're mostly about life, and then there's a few others that were kind of um, about experiences I had recently had or I was going through at the time. Okay, so always relevant. A a anything that I can relate to, I think, mm. is easier to write about for me, and it's a great okay. experience to write about those, things, about those topics. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you so much. Um, sorry, everyone's talking. <laughs> Just, uh, no, no, don't worry. I'll, uh, it's usually dead quiet in the office. I think everyone's just excited that it's Friday. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry. They will simmer down. Okay, don't worry. This is the last question, okay? So I'll, I'll fire away in a second. The last question is, do you have any creative tips? Let me just... Yeah, yeah, just think about that one for a second, okay. Busy, busy, busy. I'm going to stop for a second. 